Aquatic invasive species could be hitching a rod on your watercraft. Thankfully, there are things you can do to stop their spread in Canadian water bodies. Motorboats, jet skis, kayaks, sailboats, and other personalized watercraft can spread aquatic invasive species from one body of water to another. Here in Manitoba, the annual AIS Watercraft Inspection Program is now underway. Watercraft can be decontaminated for free at six sites to help stop the spread of invasive species. This is one of those programs that, that only is successful if, it, if, if there's participants in it, and um, especially our members who are moving back and forth between water bodies we're in communication with them and, and making sure that they decontaminate their vessels and we just encourage everybody whether you're a manitoba resident or just coming to visit this great province to do the same thing zebra mussels are a species of particular concern in part because they outcompete fish and other species for food are associated with larger more frequent algae blooms and they reproduce quickly one female zebra mussel can produce up to one million eggs a year Zebra and quagga mussels are two highly aggressive invasive species that are found in Canadian waters, Manitoba and Ontario particularly, and the rest of Canada does not want them. Gail Wallen with the Canadian Council of Invasive Species says aquatic invasive species can wreak havoc in the deep water and along the shoreline. The Government of Canada says zebra mussels originated from southeastern Europe and entered the Great Lakes in the 1980s. As of 2020, Manitoba is the most western province known to have been invaded by zebra mussels. Wallen says decontaminating watercraft is critical to limiting their spread to the rest of the country. Because those zebra quagga mussels can live for 30 days out of water based on the right temperature and warmth. So bottom line is get decontaminated if you were in an infested lake. And if you don't, you can be fined. In Manitoba, failing to decontaminate watercraft used in an AIS known body of water can result in fines of more than $2,500. Watercraft operators in Alberta and Saskatchewan are required by law to stop at watercraft inspection stations when they are open, and anyone bringing a boat into BC is required to contact the province before launching their boat into BC waters. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.